Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at the different types of formula that we're going to be using in organic chemistry. So you're already familiar with empirical formula and molecular formula from the previous lesson, but we're going to be considering all these different types of formula by taking this molecule as an example over here. So for this molecule, the molecular formula, this is the easiest one for you. Uh, so the molecular formula shows the actual number of each type of atom. So we'll be counting the carbon atoms. So there's four carbon atoms. And we'll be counting the hydrogen atom. So there's eight hydrogen atoms. So C4H8. The empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio. So it's, this, it's a number that can divide both of these or all the numbers. So here we can have the simplest whole number ratio, CH2. So this is the empirical formula for this one. The structural formula here is going to show the groups of atoms. So it usually shows CH3, CH2, CH group of atoms, and double bonds or triple bonds are also shown in structural formula. So here in the notes, Structural formula shows how the atoms are bonded to each carbon atom in the molecule. Carbon-carbon double bonds or triple bonds are also shown. So this is an example. So you see the CH2, the CH, sometimes you can have CH3. So it shows how many hydrogen atoms are bonded to each carbon. And that the two carbons are joined by a double bond. So let's see for this one here, for this example. So if you have to write the structural formula for this one, so you have one group here. So this is CH3 and this is linked to a CH. Okay. And then you have a double bond. So double bond C and this C is bonded to an H and this is bonded to a CH3. So this is the structural formula. So it shows the groups of atoms bonded to each other. And it shows double bonds or triple bonds. Single bonds are not shown because it's understood that there's going to be a single bond. Now, one thing that it's important for you to note in structural formula here, if you write it like this, it kind of shows that the hydrogen is forming the double bond with the carbon. So actually, the correct way of writing this would be so writing it like this, because the C is bonded to the C. So CH3, um, sorry, so CH3, CH, and the C will have the double bond with the other C. So CH, CH3. So here, now this clearly shows where the double bond is being formed. So it's formed between the two carbons and that the H is bonded to this carbon and this H is bonded to this carbon, this one to this carbon and the, the three H's are bonded to this carbon. So this is how you may sometimes see the structural formula. At your level, you're not going to be penalized if you write like this. But it's just to point out the correct way of writing it. Displayed formula. Here, displayed formula will show all the bonds, all the atoms. So it can be a 2D version or it can be a 3D version. So if you look at this molecule, this is already a displayed formula. So you show all the bonds and all the atoms. Now, this is a 2D version of that displayed formula. You can also have a 3D version where you show the atoms that come in, uh, that go inside the plane or go outside the plane. Now, in this molecule here, because you have a double bond, uh, so the H and the CH3 are going to be planar. They are going to be on the same plane. But here, the C, this carbon, here, this will have a tetrahedral shape. So this can be represented as a uh, 3D uh, shape. 
So normally the 3D displayed formula, if we take for example CH3OH, so this is methanol, so then you can have so COH and then H uh, behind the plane, this H in front of the plane and this H on the plane. So this is how we show the 3D displayed formula. So you're showing all the bonds and all the atoms. So for this one should actually be like this, OH, right? So this is a 2D version and this is a 3D version. Now, a dis, uh, sorry, a skeletal formula, on the other hand, is a simplified version of the displayed formula, but here hydrogen are not shown and uh, carbon atoms are not actually shown, but the hydrogen and the carbon are going to be represented by lines. So this is called a carbon skeleton. And here, each point here, means that there is a carbon here so this point so you have a point here so it means that there's a carbon here this also means a carbon this also means a carbon you have this is also a point so this is also carbon and this is also carbon and the lines represent bonds so if you have single lines means it's single bonds in this case you have double lines so it means double bond so you have carbon double bond carbon carbon and carbon this is a skeletal formula then everything else should be filled with hydrogen so based on the number of bonds that a carbon should form so carbon should form four bonds therefore here so one bond is already formed then two three four then one two three four then one two three four one two three four and then one already formed two three four so like this from the skeletal formula you can get the displayed formula the full displayed formula okay so this molecule is actually butane this is what you already you you have uh, the habit you've been writing as butane but if you draw the skeletal formula here this is what it's going to look like so one carbon two carbon three carbon Four carbon, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They are all connected with single bonds. Okay, so here, skeletal formula is a simplified version of the displayed formula where uh, you're going to use the carbon skeleton where you use lines and uh, for bonds and dots for carbon atom. So if we have to draw the skeletal formula for this molecule, so we have one carbon here. So we have one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So four dots. Single bond, double bond, single bond. So single bond, double bond, and then single bond. So that would be the skeletal formula. Everything else is going to be hydrogen. If it's oxygen, you'll have to mention oxygen. For example, you can have a skeletal formula which looks like this. So this means that here there is a CH3. Here there is C double bond O. And here there's a CH3. Okay, because here the carbon is forming only one bond, so it needs to form three other bonds. And a few other bonds will be formed with hydrogen. Uh, if you look at this one here, like this, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six carbon, so C6, and then each carbon should form four bonds. So if we count this carbon, one, two, three, Four. So this is hydrogen. This is hydrogen as well. Same thing everywhere. So if you draw the hydrogen everywhere, you would actually have 12 hydrogen. Right? So this is the skeletal formula for C6H12. Like that. Okay? So these are the five different types of formula that you will see in organic chemistry.